yes, cream yes, slice. yes, it's cream slice. Welcome back to the channel. We finally made it, guys. We hit that thousand subscriber milestone. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. And like I say, on we move, we move forward. Uh, today I'm going to show you a build that I've been wanting to um, put out for a long time, and I thought there's no better time to do it than now. So it is going to be for my warlock mains. As you know, I am a warlock main. Yeah, man. And I'm going to be pairing two of my favourite, favourite exotics with this build. And it's just going to be an, an all out onslaught. It's just going to be powerful. Healings, everything, all that good stuff. Everything a warlock wants. Constant ability regens. Powerful grenades. Let's get it. When we talk about our grenades, we are going to be diving into the magnetic grenade. Which is the handheld supernova. If you guys didn't know... Uh, if we quickly look at KS Accelerant here, magnetic grenade at the bottom. This is how you equip the handheld supernova. When we talk about handheld supernova, a lot of people choose the vortex grenade, which it is absolutely amazing. But the handheld supernova packs a powerful punch when we pair it with one of my favorite exotics that I will go over in a second. We've got Feed the Void because every time you get a grenade kill we get devour which when we are in devour any kills will recharge our grenades so we pretty much got our grenades all of the time and constant heals and the three aspects we are going to be using is echo of expulsion void ability final blows cause targets to explode give it that bloom effect that we all love seeing them purple explosions Echo of instability. When we defeat our targets with grenades, we get volatile rounds to our void weapons. And then we've got Echo of Persistence. Just basically increases our devour. So when I told you we was going to take the handheld supernova to the next level, there's only one exotic in the game that allows us to do that, and that is the Verity's Brow. With this weapon final blows with a damage type that matches your subclass grants death throws what death throws is it basically increases your grenades by 20 percent and this stack goes up to five stacks so in essence when we throw our handheld supernova as you can see here we are getting 100 percent extra damage with our handheld supernova that's how much damage we are able to deal with the handheld supernova at five stacks of death throws so it was only right that we pair the verity's brow with the notorious spamage monster traveler's chosen it also comes with osmosis so for you guys who don't know if you get a grenade kill or you throw your grenade this essentially turns it into a void weapon when we throw our grenades so then we when we get kills with the traveler's chosen we can get death throws with Verity's Brow because it turns it into a void weapon right and then we also got volatile rounds and some of the other mods that um, I'll go through after they also benefit into the Traveler's Chosen making it an absolute monster for PvE like it's one of my favorite favorite exotics in the entire game when you get kills with it um, you get the perk gathering light which essentially but the more stacks of gathering light you get the more ability energy you get when you hold reload so it is really really nice with this build throw on any void weapons that you've got to benefit from um, volatile rounds as well so um, if we go over the mods really quickly like I always say there will be a dim link if you guys want to run this build as well this build is great because you can use it for like 90 percent of your daily activities which is really really nice we've got harmonic siphon on there so we can create orbs of power with the travelers chosen when we turn it to avoid weapon assets to assets get super energy off grenade kills and bountiful wells when we make elemental wells we will get an additional well on our stasis gauntlets we've got grenade kickstart so what this essentially does is when we use our grenade we will get grenade energy back straight away and we've got elemental time dilation so any elemental well effects that we have it will increase the timer on the chest piece 
we have elemental ordnance so this is how we're going to make elemental wells through grenade kills and we've also got font of might so when we do throw our grenade Traveller's Chosen will also get a 25% damage increase on top of our Volatile Rounds and on top of the 40% Exotic Primary buff that it already receives so as you can see we are literally making the Traveller's Chosen a jack of all trades not only does it benefit from Font of Might Volatile Rounds it's also giving us our grenades back with Verity's Brow it just makes it it's just a one-man team this weapon <laughs> that's why i love it so much so we've got absolution and orbs of restoration on the boots and on the warlock bond it's totally up to you what you put on there but i choose overload grenades to weaken our enemies and devouring depths when we are in devour state and we use our super we will get 30 percent damage increase with our slover bomb and it's totally up to you what the last mod is but i use elemental armaments i found out this really really works well with um the traveler's chosen when it's a void weapon so elemental armaments when you get kills with a weapon that matches a shield class you can create elemental wells and every time we are making elemental wells with ordnance or elemental armaments you can spawn up to like four elemental wells within seconds it's super super nice and then you're getting all your abilities back by picking up elemental wells so this is pretty much the loop of it throw a grenade turn your rounds volatile with a traveler's chosen throw your uh, death rows at times five at the high tier targets and just melt them away healing kills healing kills you get what i'm saying so yeah that's a build thanks guys peace